58 seconds of total darkness. Thousands put on a pair of glasses and gazed up at the sky from a remote part of Western Australia to witness a total solar eclipse. The town of Exmouth is usually only home to about 3,000 residents, but this week it's busier than ever as visitors from across the world have set up camp. It, you know, it's only a minute long, but it really felt like a long time because it was like you could see it and it was just beautiful. And there's nothing else you can see which looks like that. It was, it was, it was just, it was just awesome. A solar eclipse is when the moon passes between the sun and the earth. And though Western Australia got the best view on Thursday, astronomy fans in other parts of the country, as well as Southeast Asia, the East Indies, the Philippines and New Zealand, were still able to see a partial eclipse. And it's not just entertainment. These events are useful to scientists too. The corona is the outermost part of the sun's atmosphere. A lot of mystery still surrounds it, and it's usually hidden by the bright light of the sun's surface. So when the moon blocks that light, it's a great time for astronomers to catch a glimpse. So there are many science teams here with special equipment to observe the solar corona. During the total eclipse, they have special equipment to look at the, the spectrum, the rainbow of the corona, to detect certain atoms, elements, and also to measure properties of the solar wind. And by understanding the solar wind and the corona, we can potentially have better understanding of uh, uh, space weather, what uh, the sun does that causes uh, space weather around Earth. Such events only happen about once a decade. The next one is set to occur in 2031 over the Pacific Ocean.